Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be exploring the new Unity 4.6 UI. Particularly, we're going to take a look at how we can make the images scale to the right size for every resolution, and how they're going to, you know, stay in the right position for every resolution. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to create a new game object UI uh, image. Um, and you'll the two main things we want to look at are this canvas and image. Uh, the canvas, you'll notice, we can't scale or anything, and that's because it's a direct uh, uh, representation of this game window right here, whatever our current aspect ratio is. So we're really just going to be working with the image. Um, right, so let's say I want to put this stripe board as my image, but you'll see that I can't because it's expecting a type sprite asset, and these are currently set to texture. So let's change that to sprite, and hit apply. And now we should be able to add it. Cool. Alright, let's say I want this guy to be in the upper left corner. Um, that works for this resolution, this aspect ratio, but if the aspect ratio changes, it won't. Uh, why is that? That is because of these anchors right here. It's currently saying, alright, whatever position these anchors are at, which is dead center in the middle of the screen, that is where this guy is going to be pinned to. So since he's in the upper left corner, it would make sense for these guys to be up here, so that he's pinned to the upper left corner. And now if I change the aspect ratio, he stays in the upper left corner. Another way we could uh, move these is by clicking up here on this icon in the Rect Transform component. Uh, and there are various uh, presets that we can select, um, upper left corner being one of them, so let's go ahead with, and proceed with that. Uh, yeah, so this works. Now let's say we want him to take up the entire screen. Cool. Well, again, if we change, uh, he's not going to stretch. He is staying pinned to the upper left corner, but he's not stretching to uh, match the current aspect ratio. Uh, we could fix that by stretching him back again and um, splitting up these anchor points like this. So... Um, this anchor point will control this blue pin, this blue pin will be controlled by that anchor point, and so on and so forth. So now when they move around, the anchors will tell this image to stretch based on, you know, where they're pinned to. Um, right, so let's say I want these yellow squares to stay squares and not ever become rectangles when the aspect ratio changes. Uh, we can do that with a method called 9slicing, which Unity supports. Um, I'm going to change that to point real quick. Um, if we go over to our sprite image and click on the sprite editor, you'll notice that there are these little green dots on all sides. And if I pull them down, you can see that there's uh, lines that they control. And altogether, they make nine slices. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-nine. Um, Right, so this pretty much cuts up your uh, your sprite image into sub-sprites, I guess, um, so that they can be scaled differently than one another. So uh, these ones, this, the these slices will scale uniformly, these ones will scale uh, vertically, these will scale horizontally, and the center uh, slice will scale in both directions. So let's uh, let's see how this works. Go ahead and hit apply. Close out of that. Uh, you'll notice that nothing's changed so far, and that's because we're set to image type simple. Uh, if we click on this drop down and change it to sliced, you'll see that the uh, the yellow squares are indeed still squares, and uh, these vertical uh, vertical stripes are stretching uh, vertically and the horizontal ones are stretching horizontally. Um, let's say we don't want it to actually be stretched horizontally, we can change that to be tiled and now it'll tile the image rather than stretch it. Um, and these tiles are based on wherever we set up those uh, nine slices. Um, you can also uncheck this fill center, and it will get rid of that center slice and only leave you with the borders. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to switch this back to sliced. Uh, one more thing, there's this filled uh, image type that doesn't really uh, deal with the border stretching. It's, it's just a cool way to add transitions. Um, I won't get into that in this video. Alright, so this guy is set up just how we want him. Got a nice little border, it stretches. Um, again, we can make it tile instead of stretch. Right. So, let's do another image. This one's going to use this one. And I'm going to keep it simple, put them in the center. Um, and we'll see if the aspect ratio changes. He still stays in the center, but uh, he doesn't increase in size, uh, and I want him to. So there's uh, there's one way we could, do, or a few ways we could do this. Um, we could go ahead and uh, put all his anchors in all four corners, just like we did for the the border, um, and then he'll stretch. Now there are two issues with this. One is that if he uh, stretches too far in reverse, he'll, you know, get this red X right here. Um, so we can fix that by, you know, kind of customizing these anchor points a little more, putting them a little closer to his blue pins. Oops. Like so. And then uh, we won't run, in, run into that issue anymore. Uh, another issue that we have is you'll notice that he's stretching. So uh, we don't want this guy to stretch, we want him to remain the same uh, aspect ratio, and we can do that by checking on this preserve aspect checkbox. And now you can see over here, um, this is still stretching uh, with our aspect ratio, but the image inside is staying a square. So, yeah. If you've seen my previous videos, uh, this checkbox is pretty much doing the same thing that our um, GUI aspect ratio scale script was doing before for GUI text and GUI textures. Uh, but this is how you do it for 4.6. Alright, so one last thing that I want to show you is text. So let's go ahead and make a text object. And let's move it up here and pin it to the upper left. Now let's say this is a scoreboard or something, so we can change the text to score. <laughs> Scare. Score. There we go. Um, and you'll notice that uh, off the bat, the text that does not scale with the aspect ratio uh, when it changes, gets higher in resolution and whatever. Um, so here's how we do that we check on this button, best fit, and we set a max size. I'm going to set this to like 100 or something. And now um, it's still not scaling. The reason for that is the anchor points are all in the upper left corner. So let's go ahead and move these anchor points out closer to the blue pins, just like we did for this center image. And now when we scale our, uh, or when our aspect changes scale for, you know, different screens, um, it should stretch this box with it, um, and increase the, uh, increase the, the text size. So, um, one thing you'll notice is scaling horizontally, it won't actually scale the text, but vertically will. Um, there are a few more settings you could play with here. There's, let's see, uh, there's this horizontal overflow, which will happen if the text goes beyond this point. It will overflow uh, down below it. You could change that setting to, uh, or it's set to wrap by default. Uh, you can set it to overflow and it will just spill over without worrying about this border. Um, and the same with vertical. Vertical will either truncate it, which means delete it, or overflow it to keep going. 
Uh, so yeah, so play with those settings. Get them to be how you like. Something that makes sense, something that works. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. You currently have all the tools you need to scale and position your UI elements into the right spaces. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, tell all your friends. Uh, if you'd like to get updates whenever I publish a new video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, um, Google+, and my website, devination.com. I'll, I'll always update those sites every time I publish a new video. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.